I think that what happens is when you have nothing else to embrace, you embrace the stories that other people tell about you. And if the only thing that's being told about you is negative, and if, if the only thing that's being ta talked about is that you um, have a criminal nature, you're gang associated because you're brown, you're, um, you're an immigrant, you're illegal, um, after generations and generations, um, those stories are start, you know, people, people start to believe them. It, it was a, it, it was a little difficult when, as a young person, to grow up in Salt Lake, um, and mainly because um, wasn't really connected to my history, and um, my stories, the stories of my family weren't told in the schools, and so I kind of grew up thinking that I was an immigrant to the U.S., but. Um, Found out much later, after um, a few tragedies in my family occurred, um, I found out later that through my grandfather before he died, um, that we were uh, from here ever since the border. The border crossed us, we didn't cross the border. Um, but I spent 27 years, this is when I found out, um, thinking that I was a, an immigrant and in turn a second class citizen. So um, I think um, finding out my own history through um, the oral stories of my grandfather really empowered me as an artist. And so now I think it's, it's, it's a pretty okay place to be as long as you um, kind of know who you are and where you come from.